welcome back to Grace's Room. So today I'm so excited, I'm going to be testing some different clothing hacks that I found on TikTok. Now I'm not sure about you guys, but I love a good clothing hack, anything that helps save time and repurposes some old clothes that I wouldn't wear otherwise. So I went on TikTok and I found 10 different clothing hacks that I thought looked really interesting and I hope you guys find them useful too. So this first TikTok hack basically involves um, using like a singlet or a tank top and uh, you like twist it inside out on like one side and it creates like a really cute twist in the middle. So the girl who's doing it here, um, it looks like really cute on her and I really like how it turned out. I actually tried something really similar to this um, in a clothing hacks video that I did a little while ago, but I used a t-shirt in that one and it didn't really work out the best. So I'm hoping maybe I'll have a little bit more luck when I use a tank top. So I'll just put it on now and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully the actual twisting part's not too confusing. I'm just going to do it over this top first. Okay, so I think so. You take one side and then you twist it like that. Hmm. Maybe I'm just going to move it over a little. Okay. Um, I think I think that's all right. I'm going to take off this top underneath and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so this is the top. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it actually looks like really cute. It's just that they don't really consider the bra bit of it because I can see it here and especially when you turn around, you can see it there. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do about that. Um, I mean, I'm not really 100% mm, mad on the back as well. I mean, it probably looks better, especially like um, when I did it with the t-shirt, which was a bit weird when it was twisted at the back. Probably looks a little bit better with these, but you know, still not like my favourite look. But I'm spewing because the front looks like really nice. So, um, I mean, I'd probably give it maybe like a 7 out of 10 just because of that bit. I probably wouldn't wear it too much, but it does look cute, so. So, this next hack is another really cute crop top, um, but it uses an oversized t-shirt. And it does involve a little bit of cutting, but it doesn't look too complicated. Um, looks like has to like, sort of like fit around here and she like threads like the bottom of the hem through it and it creates like this really cute look. Yeah, and it just ties it at the back and it looks really nice. Um, so I'm really hoping that this one works out. Um, I have my scissors and an oversized top here. Um, hopefully it's not too complicated, but let's try it. All right, so she said to cut around four to six inches um, from the hem. So I think maybe just around here should be fine. All right, there we go. Now I just need to cut the seam. All right, and now I just cut this seam in half. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by wrapping this piece um, around my chest. There we go. And then I have to take this long string thing and wrap it through the front here. Then underneath, I can get it. There we go. And then now I'm just gonna take those two pieces, just get them even. And then I've just sort of cross it here and I probably have to tighten it a little bit. Okay. It's actually not looking too bad. And then I've just got to tie it up around the back here. Okay, so I think I'll take off this top again and then we'll see how it looks. Okay guys, this top looks super duper cute. I think it looks really nice. I like it. It looks like really summery. It looks a little bit like a bikini top. Like the back looks nice too. Um, the front especially looks really nice. And I am so impressed that it worked out really well. I mean, it might not be like the finest cut like around here, but honestly, who's gonna notice? Um, it's just it's not really the right weather at the moment here in Melbourne to be wearing this type of top. But trust me, when summer comes, I will be rocking it. So. Like a 9 out of 10. Huge success. And I had a skirt that's too loose. Well, apparently this hack should fix that problem. So what she uses is a bobby pin, which I thought was interesting. Like, you know, it doesn't seem like a 
It's almost seems like a bit of a no-brainer, but she's it. It actually looks like really nice afterwards. Like I can't see it, which I thought was a bit surprising. I thought you'd be able to notice the bobby pin. But um, I've got one here and I've got this skirt. I mean, so I know it's not the same sort of like a uh, fabric. It's more like an elastic here, but it should be able to work with all skirts. So I'm just gonna fold it. And then I'm gonna take my bobby pin. I can open it up. <laughs> and just pin it there, there we go, let's turn it around a little, and let's have a look, well I mean it definitely works, and I can't really see it, I mean I don't know if it's just because I've got like a lot going on in this skirt, you can't really see a little black line, but no you can't see it at all, what am I talking about, <laughs> wow that's really cute, that definitely works, thumbs up, like 10 out of 10 I guess. <laughs> This hack is for like when your sweatshirt's a little bit long, you know, you want that cropped look, but when you tuck it in, it looks a little bit too bulky. So what she's suggesting that you do is you tie both sides, just with an elastic, and then you tuck it in, and it looks really nice. Like, I really like the look of it, so, I mean, I think this probably should work. Again, it's probably a little bit of a no-brainer, but um, let's see how it goes. So I'll tie up one side. Go and then I'll tie up this side. So I probably don't have as much um shirt to work with as she did, but should be fine still. Okay, go to the mirror. Ooh, looks cute. It actually kind of looks like I've tucked it in because it's like a little bit loose here. So it looks nice. I don't mind it. Yeah. I mean. I would give this hack a 10, but I feel like it's such like a, a bit of an obvious one that I don't know if it's deserving of a 10. So maybe I'll give it more of like a seven. But like, you know, it still works. It's just kind of like, yeah, probably could figure this one out on my side by myself. So I'm sure you guys probably have noticed by now, but I do love my crop tops. Um, and I'm not really a huge fan of wearing long tops like this. So this hack suggests that if you have a tank top that's too long, um, what she says is to sort of like turn it up inside out, put a strapless bra over the top of it, and then sort of just like fold it over the top of that, and then it creates this really cute like new look to like a crop top. And I think it looks like really nice actually. And I never really thought of doing anything like this, so I really want to try it. Okay, so I've just turned the top inside out, um, and now I've got a strapless bra that I'm going to put over the top of it. There we go. Okay, and now let's try folding it over the top. Okay, I think I'm going to look in the mirror. I'm going to need to fix that up a little bit, but so far, it looks pretty good. Hmm. That worked really well, actually. That looks really nice. It's like, you know, it's like a really nice crop size. Um, and then you also got the extra support of having a bra underneath as well. So I really like this. Hmm. I think it's like maybe a 9 out of 10. Maybe just it looks like a little bulky around there. But I don't know. I like it. So I got this top last year for Christmas and it's so cute but I haven't really worn it a lot because I don't really like how it gapes here. So when I saw this hack I was so excited. So she's wearing like a t-shirt with buttons and as you can see they're gaping a bit. Um, so what she does is she unbuttons the second and the fourth button. She like crosses them over and it creates like this really cute look. Yeah, and apparently like, they're not gaping anymore, so I'm hoping that this one works. Uh, let's test it. So where's the second button? Yeah, there we go. And then the fourth one. I'm not sure like if this style might only look nice um, with uh, like a t-shirt. I don't know how it will look with like a collared sort of top like this, but we'll soon see. Okay, let's have a look in the mirror. It's actually not too bad. I wasn't expecting to like this one too much, but it's not too bad. I don't mind. I mean, it definitely creates like a bit of a new look. Like, you know, it doesn't really fix the whole gaping problem. Well, it does, but you know, it doesn't really look the same, if you know what I mean. Um, but it actually doesn't look, I don't mind that style. Pretty good. I like it. Um, 
Uh, I, but since it solved the gaping problem and created a really cute style, I'll probably give it like an 8 out of 10. Yeah. Pretty nice. Hmm. Cute, right? Well, according to this hack, I've been wearing my cardigan wrong. So, as you can see, she's sort of wearing one similar to this, but what she does is she puts the sleeves on from like the front, and then she puts it over her head, and it creates this new look. And it looks really cute, actually, with her cardigan. I like the style of it. I mean, I know hers might be a little bit thinner than the one I'm wearing, but it should work. So, what I'm going to do is take this off, obviously. Um, turn it this way, put my arms through the sleeves, and then I'm just going to put it over my head and we'll see how it looks. Okay. Let's have a look in the mirror. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's a cardigan. Uh, I'm not sure if I love the look of it. I mean, like I said, I don't know if maybe because mine's a little bit thicker, but it looks just a little bit weird. It looks like I'm wearing like, what are those things called, like a shawl or something? Yeah, I'm not mad on the look. Mm, like I said, maybe, maybe I just need a different cardigan, but it just looks too bulky. I like the other way, like the oversized look. So, sorry, it's gonna be like, I can't even get a rating. Like two out of 10. <laughs> Definitely probably wouldn't wear it like this. Ever wanted to look sophisticated in a standard office shirt? Well, do I have the hack for you? <laughs> um, apparently she got a lot of comments on this hack. So all she does is she um, ties it up at the back, the shirt, and like tucks it underneath, and then just sort of rolls up the sleeves. And it looks like really nice actually. Um, and I don't know, maybe maybe the pants also look good for the two. But um, I'm gonna try this. This is actually the shirt that I have to wear for school. So, <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna tie it up at the back here, and I've got an elastic on my wrist. That should be enough, and then I'll just tuck it underneath. There we go. Pretty cute. Now let's work on the sleeves. So I think I might just roll it up. It looks like she buttoned it up after she rolled it, so I don't know if I have to do that. I don't right, think I will. Maybe I'll just roll it one more time. I'm not sure how this is going to look on me because I'm not. I don't really wear kind of office looking clothes a lot. Probably more of like a older style, if you know what I mean. Okay, here it is. Let's have a look in the mirror. Not too bad, not too bad actually. It looks kind of cute. Um, I think I probably need to change my pants, like wear like black jeans or something like that. I'm just not sure if, the, if I like the white on white look. Um, besides that, it actually looks really nice. I don't mind it. I don't know if I'd wear this too much, but it does look nice. Like, the hack did work, so I do have to give it like a, an 8 out of 10. I just don't know if I'd personally wear it that much. Okay, so for this hack, um, we're going to be turning a tank top into a skirt. So what she does, she like crosses the straps, and then she just basically puts it on, and it creates a really cute looking skirt with like a little like hole in the middle. So I've got this tank top here that I'm going to be using. Um, just start by crossing it over. And it's the only other thing I wasn't too sure about. Oh, okay, put it. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was gonna be able to work out how to put it on. Okay, great. I'll quickly put this on then. Okay, so this is the skirt. And to be honest, I mean, again, I'm not really sure if it's because I'm not really using like the same tank top as she's using, but I'm not really mad on the look. I mean, it looks maybe a little bit cute with like this sort of crossover thing happening at the front. But it's sort of like a bit gathering a bit at the back here and at the front it gapes a bit so I'm not really mad on that look. I mean I guess I could pull it up. It's gonna be like really high up this skirt. Um, I mean I know she's from thinner straps but I don't really have a top like that and also like the straps would have to be like really stretchy too because like these are quite stretchy and that would have been like the only way I was able to get this on. You know you gotta put your legs through the straps so. And I'll probably give this hack like maybe a 6 out of 10 just because it probably wouldn't I'd rather just invest in a skirt. <laughs> okay, so this last hack is for when you want to wear a halter neck, but your bra straps are showing. So it's a pretty simple hack, I'd say. Um, what she does is she uses a safety pin and she basically pins the two straps together and that's all. And apparently they disappear. So I really want to try this one and it'll be really good for those of you, especially if you don't have um, 
a strapless bra. So, got my safety pin here. Let's test it. All right, let's see if this works. Oh, I think I need to pull it down a little bit at the back because I can still see the safety pin. I can really see them. Oh, maybe I can spot them a bit at the back there. I wonder if I can tuck those in. Alright, so I mean, I don't think it looks too bad actually. Like, I definitely can't see it. I mean, if you're desperate um, and you know you don't have a strapless bra, then definitely do this. Um, but I'm not sure. It just feels like really tight at the back. It's a little uncomfortable. Like, I feel like the safety pin's sort of digging into my skin a little bit. So I'll give it like. A 7 out of 10 because I guess it does work but it's not the most comfortable option well that was so much fun I'm so glad that I did it because now I've discovered so many really cute clothing hacks that I can't wait to use in the future um, and hopefully it was helpful to you guys too and maybe you guys can use them as well um, I'd say that my favorite hack is probably the second one where I um, turned an oversized t-shirt into that little cute like bikini top looking thing I can't wait to use that this summer I'm so surprised that it worked out so well I'd say my second favorite is probably the uh, the fifth one with um, the tank top where you put like a strapless bra on and you fold it over the top and it turned into a crop top. That is so useful and I'll definitely be using that as well. Um, and I'd say my least favorite one is probably the cardigan. I don't think I'll be using that anytime in the future. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram at Grace's World Official and I'll see you guys next time on Grace's Room. Bye for now.